goal apiece for the first 35 minutes. Substitution during the halftime break. The man who just missed the ball, Shabazz Mohammed, has come on at centre forward for Pakistan. Shabazz will call him in place of Bawa. Helt. Bob Lander. Perhaps the distinguish between the two Shabazzes on the field. Number 10 is Shabazz Senior. And number 16 is Shabazz Junior. Which is what the players call them. This is the younger of the two. Not related. In fact, they're not even spelled the same way. No, that's right. One is Shabazz and one is Shabazz. Brinkman looks outside for Van den Honert. Too far. Farad should tidy up Pakistan. Almost made a meal of it. In fact, Stefan Veen is on. In place of Van Grimbergen for the Dutch team. It's not that surprising, as we said in the call. Van Grimbergen was struggling a little. When you actually look at the match statistics for the first half, it's been Pakistan who've done all, made all the play. Well, they are again through their captain, Shabazz. Number 14, Martin von Schienberg. Still Shabazz. Well, he's making a bit of a meal of it. He's won the free hit. Was him. 16-yard hit. Was him, Faroz. Gave a little kick to help it on its way. Barat. The lovely dummy there. Just come here. Still with Tart here. Works his way inside deeper vein. Gets past Bobolander, still going. Bye on. Yeah, what great skill. Good umpiring, great skill, and a great tackle. Very, very good hockey. Shabazz. Sort of hockey the crowd loves to see, Dave, that brought the crowd to their feet. Well, half the crowd anyway. Yeah, I think the Dutch team, the Dutch crowd spectators appreciated that bit of skill. But they like this even better. Their rings. Veen making the run up forward. And support is Van Pelt. Tackled yes. by Cully. Buzz. All right. And there's that stopping tackle again. When all else fails, dive on the ground and use your body to stop the ball. Still no card. No, the game has been played in uh, very good spirit, though, you'd have to say. Oh, it has been, been very good. And quite well umpired. Shabazz. Junai. Still Junai. He's won the free hit. Shabazz, the captain. Seeds possession. Davison. Inside him on the right is Brinkman. And upon it. Oh, Vetering's golden chance. Good save. Good work from Khalid. The Dutch should have had a goal there. That's outside the circle. Saved in any case by Shahid. Still the pressure on. And now 
Ah, some relief as Pakistan begin a counter-attack with Shabazz, their captain. Wasim. Crowd roaring behind him. That's a very good tackle by Bovelander once again. By G Stood his ground. Tackle. Crucial tackle, but a bad mistake by Van Eed. Shabazz has the free hit. It's a pretty exciting two minutes of play from end to end. Tarat. Outside him is Musadak. Looks forward for Shabazz, who has won the penalty corner off the stick of Peter Van Eed. Done by Van Eed. Mossadak again. Can't get past Van Pelt. And come forward again. Bean. Beat rings. One on one in this situation. Good skills. It's past Rana. Tries to slip it inside the Bean in support, but Farah comes forward again to Pakistan. This is when they're dangerous. The three ball is for Wasim. He's got some running to do if he's to get there and can't. I thought Farad should have come right. They had two players on the overlap on, uh, on the right-hand side. Still That's Shabazz. Shabazz. Too far. Davison gets it back to Brinkman. Bovlander, toss over the top. Finds Van der Honert. Faced by Rana. Gets inside him baseline. Now, if he can get it back to Beatrings, he can. What can Beatrings do? Good tackle. Fair tackle. Yes, exciting five minutes of hockey. It's been quite, quite enlightening. It's something for the crowd to really look forward to. I'm not sure that the Dutch players are going to like this end-to-end -end stuff. Shabazz hassled out of it, and the free hit conceded by Van Eed. Farat needs a toss over. That's where it goes. Looking for Mr. Dark, but uh, just eludes him. And goes over the baseline for a 16-yard hit to the Netherlands. Interestingly, talking during the break to Zakadin, the t television commentator from Pakistan, he was saying that uh, in the BMW tournament recently held, Pakistan played Holland in one of the great games of, of modern hockey. He said it was just one of the best games he's seen for a long, long time. So maybe we'll see some of that in this half. Van der Honert. Well, then it was. Pass came from Van der Honert. Farad. Shabazz in support on his right. Tends to go left all the time. They sometimes overlook the obvious in favour of the skipper. Or was him on the left wing. Still for Rudd. We look left again. No, goes right. Tahir making good ground. Has beaten the goalkeeper. Yes. What a magnificent individual effort in the goal square. Well, the crowd appreciate that. A little piece of magic from Zaman Tahir. That is just wonderful skill. That's what world hockey is all about. Sensational skills by Tahir. That's why Pakistan are always said to be the most skillful team on the international circuit. Their, their supporters love it. And hopefully we'll see it here on the replay we do. Dummies the goalkeeper. Hits him on the ground, just pokes it in the corner. That's a great piece of play. And you would imagine, Richard, the Dutch will uh, now try to bring the game back to their pace. Yes, I think so. They got caught up in the run and gun of uh, Pakistan hockey. And if you do that, you're going to be in all sorts of trouble. He's on the counter-attack now, but missed it. Missed a good chance to get away. Still a Dutch ball. It's a Pakistan stick. Can't get through there, Van der Honert. Look at this athleticism. It's off the foot of Portnar. Play on call. Pakistan still with possession. Tahir, the goal scorer. Looked forward for Shabazz, but uh, couldn't get through the Dutch defence. Now beat rings. The Pakistan are back in numbers, and the Dutch will have to build this from the middle again. Which I might add, they're quite prepared to do any time. They say they are, and they've decided that this game's been played at too, too fast a pace for them. Not that they're a slow team, but they just can't match Pakistan in this in the type of situation. Rana just got the stick down. Yes, they want to get back and play at their, at their pace. Force a penalty corner, let Bovaland to put it away. And that's the danger in this type of situation. Even though Pakistan are 2-1, if they go into attack again. Musadak 
the pass came from Tahir. It slipped through. Still a chance. Shabazz and penalty corner. Lifted ball. Well, the Dutch were caught out. All ends up there. Vusadak beat Van Pelt for pace. Absolutely hopeless. It's a Pakistan bench looked on and the Pakistan crowd go wild. And as I look around, some of the Netherlands players are, sit players are sitting down on their haunches. They've made a mistake after half time of trying to open this game up and play it with this fast pace. And if they do this, they're going to be in all sorts of trouble. So Frank Leistra in the Dutch goal called on to save another penalty corner. Bashir has put it away. Well, this is something of an upset. Although the Pakistan fans won't agree, they love it. Absolutely love it. And, and you'd have to say, justice is prevailing. Pakistan have made all the running in this game. If you look at the statistics, Holland have been into attack about four times for the whole game. And if you do that, you can't always rely on. So Lystra watches it go past again, and Bashir gets his second. Pakistan go 3-1 up, 11 minutes into the second half. Yes, another very good penalty corner too. Equally as good as Boverlanders. Mind you, they all count as one. It's Bashir's fifth goal for the tournament, so he's up with the leaders now. More importantly, his team is primed to take top spot in Paul B. And that would put them up against either Germany or Australia, assuming results go the way we want them to go. That's a lifted ball. Bearing in mind that Boverlander is in, the, is in the Dutch team, this game's still a long way to go. It's only 11 minutes old in the second half. Khalid, big toss, Boverlander, and there's traps. Still alive for Musadak. Gee, he's got some pace, Musadak. His legs are about half the length of those of uh, Peter Van Eed, but he was gaining all the way. He's going two for the two for his one, but he'd need to with the size of those legs of Van Eeds. He wouldn't want to pay for them by the pound, would you? He wouldn't. Van Pelt. Deeper vein. Well, the Pakistanis have their tails up now. They're chasing, hassling. It's a good dummy by Taco Van der Honor, but his teammate uh, overlapping wasn't Putin, uh, wasn't quite ready for it. Player down on the right-hand side of the field, just out of picture, is Peter Van Eed. I'm not sure what happened to him. It'd probably be exhaustion more than anything, I'd think. After that run covering Musadak, do you think? Yes, I think the Dutch have decided that we'll have a little team meeting in the middle of the field to he's slow this down. He's holding his hamstring, but uh, you may well be right. It may just be a feigned injury. So the Pakistanis in conference as well. The Dutch team are now being called together in the middle of the field by Boverlander and, and their captain Mark Dillison. And I'm sure he's going to say to them, hey, what are we doing here trying to match them at their pace? We don't like to play this way. Well, it must have been serious because uh, Peter Van Eed is coming off. And he will be replaced in the Dutch lineup by Leo Klein Gebbing. Klein Gebbing played in the Champions Trophy in Melbourne in 1990, and that was the first time I saw him. He's a very skillful player as well. Now, that will cause some problems to the Dutch team if Van Eeden has pulled a hamstring, because if he has, that's it for 1992 Olympic Games. But only time will tell whether it is a hamstring. The question of where Klein Gemmick goes, probably he's going to go into the left back position. And then Van Eeg there getting the ice on the hamstring or just That's behind the knee. The knee. Is it? Yeah. See, let's hope it's not a knee injury. They can be horribly, horribly serious. I don't like seeing that happen to anybody. So Pakistan it is to get us underway once again. Straight onto the attack. I see him. Shabazz in support. Looks across for Tahir and gets the deflection in but lifts the ball. And so the Dutch come out of defence again. 
Clyde Gimmick has gone to left half, and Van Pelt is doing the marking roll in the middle of the field, formerly done, performed by, by Van Eed. Just put past the ball a little wide for Jack Winkman. Well, Van Pelt has some pressure on. Here he is now, because uh, it was he who let uh, Musadak get away in the first place, which forced Van Eed to chase, which we suspect caused the injury of the skills. Shabazz. Pakistan always seem to have somebody senior and somebody junior in their team. I can remember they had Menzor senior and Menzor junior in the 1980s, and they were a pair of champions if you've ever seen a pair. Tahir. Third by Klein Gebbing. Runs up in support. Fresh legs on the field. Oh, now well, he's in trouble. By he has to get back. In fact, Vitrings will have to do that for him. Tahir. Khalid. This is Shabazz. Just held up by the Dutch tank again. An immovable bay. object. Mind you, when he gets a move on, he can also be an irresistible force, yeah. can't he? He's a very good player as well, and he shouldn't downplay that role. The role he's played for Holland over a vast number of years has been outstanding. Dean can't control it. Good tackle from Bashir, who's on it very quickly from the left-hand side. He's the oldest player in the men's competition at 36, but he's not the oldest player in the hockey competition because the New Zealand goalkeeper is 37. I think Fine he does giving. a bit more running than that. Yeah, probably so. Fine Gibbings, second taste of action. Start here. Word from the other pitches that Germany has beaten Egypt 8 2, which doesn't do their goal balance any harm at all. And this, that gives them seven points and. Uh, Assuming that Australia, well, we're not assuming anything, we're hoping that Australia will beat India later on the day. They'll give Australia seven points and then we'll all ball down to the last day. It's Monday. And the Hornet held up by Junai. Shabazz beaten by Veterans Foot. Veterans picks the ball up, thinks better of it, puts it down. You don't know when an umpire is going to reach into his pocket these days, do you? No, you do not. Although the umpiring in this game has been very good and the game's been played in a fantastic manner. Ellison finds Bean. No aggravation at all. Eva Bain. Davison. A bit unlucky then. I thought he was just very strong on the ball. Too strong, according to the umpire. Maestro gets it away from Bob Lander. I'm a little laugh to myself because I can see Frank Leistre, the Dutch goalkeeper, giving the ball boy a lesson on how to get the ball back in the play quickly. Yeah, get it in quickly, which is most unusual for the Dutch. Give him a goal up and he'd be happy to leave it on the back line. Fine Gebbing. Taylorson beaten. And Stark. Tahir again. Through ball for Wasim. They've gone past Putna. The Dutch were in big trouble. Now, Tucker van der Honnet. Davison. Deeper vein up in support. This is where the immovable object becomes the irresistible force. Perhaps not this time. Barat. Has that dummy down to perfection, doesn't he? Certainly does. Wasim. Has Portnar beaten? Shabazz in the middle. Just checks though. Still with the ball. Tahir. Brinkman. Good tackle. Not legal though. She took some stick first. Tahir. Has lost it this time. It was a good tackle from Brinkman. Yes, you can't play in the Pakistan forward line unless you've got what they call quick wrists. You don't want to say that in a hurry either. But quick wrists is one of the, the key things they look for when they're looking for young talent to play in their forward line. Then they've got about to run very fast, and if they've got those two things, they can play. 
bring your own green shirt. That's right. That's why they We don't see that very often, and that's why. <laughs> this is not illegal. legal anymore. 1989, they made that illegal, a chip shop. Very handy, but very, very dangerous. Mind you, there were some players who fine-tuned it. I know some golfers would be proud, proud to hit a wedge as well as some people used to be able to chip. The hockey stick. Bean and Van der Honnet. And free hit for Holland, Brinkman. Van der Honnet, has he put it too far? He's still got the ball. It's the stick of Junai. Dutch have pushed more players forward now in the, in the hope of scoring something from this situation. Getting a penalty corner. Van der Honnet. Well stopped by Junaid. And a good long clearance. I think the crowd like it. The Dutch have gone fairly silent. They have. It's probably what probably they need that band, the trumpeter. 19 minutes gone in the second half. Pakistan leading 3-1. Vitrings back to Bean. Can't get the shot away though. Too slow with the shot. Good hassle by Junaid. Davison, hand in the back. Strong enough to play on and retain control. The hand in the back has become a very fashionable tackle here. One hand on the stick and the other one in the back. A couple of teams do it very well. Under Mullet. He's trapped by Shabazz tidied up by Rana. Shabazz again. Gee, he can travel and keep the ball under control. Can't he? Still going. Still on the end of his stick. And there's still a chance. Uh, great well, play. Great play. Wonderful cover defence. Great play, great umpiring, great cover defence, and that's the sort of thing that the crowds want to see. Wojta van Pelt it was, who kept it off the line. And Stroxma still looks worried. You can understand why. Ooh. 16-yard hit. I mean, thought that might have hit the goalkeeper's pads, but it didn't. It went over the sideline. No. Thought he'd given a free hit. He hasn't, so we're away on the right-hand side. One of the most interesting games we've covered here. Good running by Clive Bennett. What can he do from here? His beach rings in support. He doesn't do enough, but he does win the free hit. It had all the makings of a great game, didn't it? Pakistan, the second seeds for the tournament, and Netherlands, the number three seeds. Although coming into the game, I honestly thought the Netherlands would have... Uh, had the measure of Pakistan. Yeah, it was all going to hinge on how many penalty corners they could get. And it still does, and there's still time because it's 14 minutes of play remaining or thereabouts. If they got a penalty corner here and converted, then the game's wide open again. From Pakistan point of view, they'd be very keen to do nice clean tackling, nice clean traps and keep the ball out of the circle. Well, Jenai at left half has done very well. There's a penalty corner. And that's what they're looking for. That's uh hit Bashir and it's hurt him. It actually came up off the stick of Junaid, who I have just said had been doing very well. And Bashir has popped it just inside the left knee. Taco Van der Horn it was who uh, hit that corner across. You can see it again. Just off Junaid's stick and ouch. Yeah, that would hurt. That would hurt and from that distance you've got no chance to adjust and, to adjust and make the trap. The Dutch players all coming in for a powwow again as Bashir gets some treatment. And you'd have to say that this is a crucial point in the match. If Pakistan make this save, that will really boost their confidence. The umpire is calling for Bashir to uh, rise from the dead. He's not going to give him too much more time. It's 3-1. After 21 minutes and 49 seconds of play in the second half, the clock stopped with this injury. In fact, it wasn't Bashir. He was down on the deck. Rana. 
this goes in. We could have an exciting last 14 minutes of play. I'm sure we will anyway in the last 14 minutes. I hope so. It's so been a very good second half. Excellent game of hockey. So, here's the Bobolander Express about to hit Pakistan. He's gone for the flick and charged down and another Pakistan injury. I think, I think it wasn't Feroz. They got him on the follow through. He's very fast, was he? He runs out on the penalty corners and Bovalander went to flick. You watch it here on the replay. Perhaps you can pick it up. Gee, he made some ground. Oh, he's no, just he's collided into a uh, stick stopper. Yeah. Still more pressure for Pakistan. Ali Khan Shahid in the Pakistan goal. We hope it doesn't come as far as him. So, Bandon Honnett to crank the ball across again. This time, there's no Pakistan foot. That's up off the stick of Davison. A deeper vein. And uh, this will be a Pakistan hit. And a mistrap. Well done, though. Back to Van Pelt. Deeper Bain. Davison now. The three ball was aimed for Bean. He's coming the other way. Now with Beatrings. He's been quiet in the second half. Lifted ball. And Pakistan hit. In fact, you'd have to say that the Dutch forwards have been a trifle disappointing this game. Yes, I think they've been disappointing for the whole competition. As I mentioned earlier, this has been a one-man shooting match, the Dutch team. They've been getting they're getting some penalty corners by gradually forcing the ball up into their attacking half, and then someone like Van der Heine would do one piece of really good stick work. Or find a foot. Or find a foot, or or someone would lift the ball out of the circle, and uh, they get a penalty corner, and Bovelland to put it away. Skills being hassled by Stefan Veen. Tried to do too much. Yes, he didn't play the percentages then. The percentages certainly weren't. And they might be punished for this. Beatrings, who can really hit a ball. Great save by Shaid. He's conceded the penalty corner, but the reflex save was wonderful. Well, the Pakistan players aren't very happy with the ruling. The goalkeeper's made the save. He's lying on the ground on the back line. The ball's gone over the back line and the umpire's given a penalty corner. So the danger continues. All started by Farrat fiddling in the bottom right-hand corner of the field. So Bobolander back in the penalty corner battery. Brinkman to push out. It's been a break. Tell you what, though, for us, has recovered from his uh, his cork thigh. <laughs> yes, you realise how important this is. He's got a crucial task to play here, along with Shahid Ali Khan, the goalkeeper. And again, the goalkeeper does what's required of him, just turns it around the edge. But still, the Dutch are in attack with another corner. Vitrings. Trapped and cleared by Tahir and mistrapped oh, by yes. Shavaz. It's well, not it was, his. I thought it was a mistrap off Van Pelt. Pakistan obviously thought so as well, but not Alan Renault. That's all that matters. He's the umpire. Davison. Brinkman outside him. Looks forward instead for Bean. It's a good run by Bean. Made some space, but too slow to get further space in the circle. Now, Van den Hoenen, what can he do? The pass... Found Brinkman and Brinkman almost found the net, but again for the good work of Ali Khan Shahid and the Pakistan goal. So Pakistan under sustained pressure here. Beat rings. Yes, no! Saved again! Absolutely superb reflexes by Shahid. Yes, he's a great young goalkeeper, but he's not so young anymore. I remember when he came into the Pakistan team in 1982 at the World Cup in Bombay. The first thing he had to do was save a penalty stroke from the great Tish Krauser from Holland, and he did it. He's been in the team ever since. Well, Dalison would have thought that touch might have gone in. Yes, it was a great, great shot by Dalison. Important save. 
It's not over yet, though. Fine Gebbing. Sets Vietrings away on the left wing. And it's off the stick of Khalid. And another corner. It's the Pakistan forwards need to hold this ball when they get it. I'm actually a little surprised that Pakistan don't have everybody back. They've still got three outside the circle. Now they're in with a chance of getting out of defence. Mind you, you sometimes have to wonder how many people are, are, are effective when they get in the circle. I figured you need one for everybody of the opposition. Yes. <laughs> There's a chance. That's felt. Under pressure again from Musadak. And he's put Ooh. the hand on the back. Why isn't it a penalty corner then? It's a deliberate breach. Accidental hand on the back? Yes. <laughs> They've perfected the art. Musadak. It's off the stick of Bobolander and should be a Pakistan push. This is uh, Alan Renault. The umpire was a little lenient then. It was plain to see that it was a push in the back. Shabazz. Still Shabazz has found yeah. the foot. Penalty corner. Excellent play. So, great experience from the Pakistan skipper. And if this goes in, you'd have to suggest with just under seven minutes of play remaining, that Pakistan have got this game won, but who, with Bovalander in the team, you wouldn't be betting anything on it. Frank Lystra in the Dutch goal, a sheer to hit, does. That's the Bovalander stick and the post, I think. It's a great save. Tahir, still pressure, play on. Put it out too far in front of himself to uh, have won a free hit for obstruction. Loose work between Davison and Deeper Vane, but they get away with it. Virtue of the free hit. Find Gebbing. Hopeful pass. More ambitious than accurate. Shabazz. Just Arnold Goodwin, this man has the ball. The wonderful skills. Tahir. Shabazz again. Concern for the Dutch. Looking for the penalty corner. Bob Lander got the stick down, and away comes Mark Davis and the Dutch skipper. That flat sticks tackle at the top of the circle is so important. We saw then if Bob Lander had stood up to make the tackle, he would have been in all sorts of trouble. Davis and tossed it over the top, but Van der Honnet was offside. Got Brinkman and screen. So just over six minutes to play. Pakistan leading the Netherlands three goals to one. And most certainly what has been one of the most entertaining games we've seen here at Tarasa this week. Excellent game. We had more of this type of hockey with you far bigger crowds. It's been attractive. It's been shots at goal. It's been great goalkeeping. And here they go again, Pakistan. Masadak was beat for pace by Clyde Gebbing. Clever play. Give and go with Bob Lander. Now Davison. Beatrings outside him. This is Veen in the middle. Brinkman. Fortnar on the overlap. Needed to be just a touch further in front of him to maintain pace. And that's where it fell down. Now, chance for Davison. Veen. Can he lift it over the goalkeeper? How's the tackle? The tackle is not legal. And uh, umpire Richard Walter from Germany has given the penalty corner. And Ra Rana is going mad at the go at the umpire. They're not happy at all. He's going to get a card now. Now that's a bit silly. I don't know who's getting the card because there's four, five of them going over there. They could probably line up. They're probably all having something to say. But uh, it will be Muhyiddin Rana who Farad, oh, no, isn't it? Farad. Farad's going to get a card. Green card. It's Rana who didn't get the card. Great pressure on the umpire to make the correct decisions in when it's in the circle. Well, I must say the tackle at first looked quite fair to me. However, it is the Netherlands with a chance to peg one back. 3-1 down, waiting for time on to be blown again. Brinkman with the push out from the back line. Just waiting for time. We have it now. Will they go with Bovalander? And they lay it off to Vitrings. There it is. Vitrings has gone wide. Well, perfect opportunity. Yes. And the machine's starting to falter. They had to. They, their conversion rate up until now was just phenomenal. Almost unheard of. Well, they haven't had a goal off uh, three penalty corners in this half. 
And for them, that is something out of the usual. Give credit to the Pakistan defence, though. Faraz running out. We'll see Faraz running out. And uh, Shahid in the goal has been magnificent they today. Certainly, they certainly have. And to beat the, beat, beat the Dutch penalty corner machine, that's the sort of thing you're going to be looking for. And I'm sure all other teams will be here watching and noticing the importance of the runner out. And also the fact that you can't afford to have your goalkeeper on the ground too early with Bovalander. So many of his goals have been from the fleet. Because quite simply, in Pakistan are on the counter-attack now as he lost it in the midfield. Lusadak to take on Bovalander. The goal was open. Leistra got back just in time. Leistra had the wrong angle covered at one stage, but got back brilliantly. So Mustak. Leistra very brave to let that go. He must have had some idea what was behind him. Yes, Mustak just wanted to lift the ball in that situation. Leistra took the, took the gamble and spread himself all, all across the front of the net the best he possibly could to cover the biggest, biggest area. So here now. Barat. Outside to Kalia. And all the way back now to Rana. So there's a little bit of Dutch hockey in this. It's all about holding possession. Inside the last four minutes. Vitring's just getting a little aggro. Although I suspect there was as much coming from Kalia as anybody else. Vitring's not back five metres, five yards. So Khalid. Oh, what a great pass. Oh, it was too, wasn't it? Inch perfect. Jordan's notebook. Yes, he's got the notebook out. The match on, on Monday against Malaysia now in Shums is a little more important, although you'd have to tip them to win the way the Malaysian team's been, been a little disappointing here. Coach Terry, Terry Walsh was very angry the other day with his team when they, they led the unified team 3-2 at half-time and ended up losing whatever it was, 6-7-3. Seven, three. Seven, three, yes. Yeah, not the sort of uh, scoreline Terry Walsh is used to having against him, is it? No, and of course against Spain on Thursday, they, they were 3-2 two, two all at half-time. They lost 5-2. So the second half seems to be a real problem for Malaysia. And so the Dutch would have to be favoured to beat Malaysia on now, Leistra has come out to uh, help start this. He's had to go back into the net again. Pakistan bench looking on quite happily, I would think, at this stage. Deeper vein. Checked by Tahir. Now, can the Dutch pull one back in the last two minutes? They'd be anxious to give them some confidence should they happen to meet Pakistan in the final, which, of course, all Australians hope won't eventuate. Farad, he has played well today. So is this man, the captain, Shabazz. Brilliant to watch. Musadak just popped it on the back of the heel. Now, Tahir, who's shown flashes of absolute brilliance today, puts Musadak away, but he's offside. Well, Dave, I'd have to disagree with you. I'd like to see an Australian-Pakistan final. First of all, it means Australia would be there. No, no, I said... Should uh, Pakistan meet the Netherlands in the final? Oh, again, right, yes, yeah, sorry. Which all Australians hope won't happen. That's right, yes, of course. <laughs> pa Australia Pakistan final, I think, would be great for world hockey, great for television. Bob Lander. It's a Dutch ball. Off Pakistan stick. So inside the last minute, can the Netherlands pull one back? Van der Honnet's certainly still trying, but can't run that down. And Pakistan will be in no hurry to take this free hit. And you have to say, I mean, we keep talking about Bovalander's penalty corner hitting, but Bashir has hit two rockets to put Pakistan into this winning position. Yeah, and he's got five for the tournament. Good turn then by Deeper Bain. Van Gebbing. Oh, the touch almost came from Bain corner. Again, Shahid and the goal did the right thing. Beat rings. Another corner. That's the stick of Khalid. Five seconds to play. Beat rings. He's goal. It is. Stefan Bean has pulled one back at the death. Well, they threatened to do it all day. They really did. Stefan Bean pulls one back to 3-2. But uh, that's how it ends. 
A wonderful deflection, and the first time that Shahid has been beaten on the cross ball. But uh, but they have been.